Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade. It's Olivier. Looks like you guys have a great show here with Mars. What are people going to get when we see this show? I think it's a kind of a different narration for what I've, I have seen before. This mix of uh, reality, documentary, and fiction. It's very interesting for the. It's a new. Di it's a different show. I've never seen something like that before. You've got two of the best minds in the business putting this together with Ron and Brian. Talk to me about how they were able to shape this series. Well, what is nice when you work with smart, talented, experienced guy is you have less to do. <laughs> so they did all the job and we just arrive and we play the part. You've had so many great roles. I was just telling you, I was watching Unfaithful this weekend. What draws you to a project like this? Uh, in this case, it's a very, potentially, it's a very interesting part because First, I've never played something like that, and I love to, to change. I love to play different kind of characters. And also, I mean, this is a guy who refuses to understand what, what, what the meaning of impossible. If it's impossible, he said, OK, great, let's do it. I love, I love that. I love that, too. I love to play characters like that. TV is so great right now, and you've done so many movies. I should think? retire. I, I agree, yeah. <laughs> I've done my time. <laughs> what do you think about TV, where we're at right now? It's a pretty cool time, isn't it? Uh, TV, since now, now a few years, it's very creative and very interesting. And for me, it's the same, same job. I mean, if I work on TV, on, on movies, on, on stage, on theater, I'm still acting. So I'm fine. As long as I have to act, I'm good. <laughs> my final question is, in real life, take a guess. What year are we going to put the first person on Mars? I had 2045. I dig it.